I'm Johnny. We're going to do something different. I'd like to first take this opportunity to thank Phil and Vic and Renee, Ian, for a little talk on uh, Facebook we had about marketing and ways to market yourself. I was in the middle of writing the script, but I've decided to do something a little bit different instead because I've decided I still have a lot to learn when it comes to marketing. So... We're going to do this. We're going to do a follow me around the studio. This is going to take some doing because my videographer is gone. Shell, come back. She was awesome. So hopefully I can do this a-okay. So join me for fun. First up on the list is this groovy little thing that I've been sitting on. This is my chair. Uh, I know it's just a chair, but I cannot overstate how important a good chair is. Get yourself a good chair for your studio space. If you have not watched Phineas and Ferb, links into the doobly-doo, you should totally check it out. Phineas is a planner, and he's the kid that says, hey, I know what we're going to do today. I had a spirit guide that was in the form of a cartoon. This would be him. So this here, this skull, is my memento mori. It's like those skulls that you see in old writer desks. Shakespeare had one. It's a signal to writers to remember, just as they shall turn to dust, so too shall their works. It's a reflection of one's own mortality. Also, this one in particular is a reminder to me to not take things seriously. Now this is my personal deck of oblique techno strategies. The oblique strategies were a set of cards by Brian Eno, who's an amazing producer, and check out the links in the doobly-doo. But these cards were a way to inject some randomness or inject some new ideas or fresh life into a particular piece of music and were a great way to get unstuck creatively. The push, it's a controller into Ableton. Monitor, monitor, monitor professional pieces of gear that accurately reproduce sound. If you do any sort of audio production work whatsoever, you want some of these. This is the Behringer BFC 2K or BCF 2K or something. Here's the MoFo. Great little synthesizer. It's for sale. This is Ferb. Another spirit guide. Seriously, best cartoon ever. Even John Green agrees. The Chaos Pad I use. Oh, hey, look at that. It's saying Johnny. This is a mixer. Used to be super important. Now it's just got two chords in it. Reason is, this thing. This is an audio interface. This is basically the same as the thing on top, except it plugs into my computer. And it's got this little bouncy light that goes along with my voice. Now we're going to talk about my two favorite synthesizers. These little monophonic synths are called Zox boxes. They are circuit by circuit reproductions of the TB303. The one on the left here, I call Yang. The one on the right, I call Yin. This one here, I designed the front panel for it. And Shell and I put it together. Check out the Nate Harrelson video. Uh, link in the doobly-doo for a proper explanation all about TB303s. Hello, kitty coffee cup. Because kawaii series of notebook. These containers are full of electronic project ideas that I'll get around to someday. This reproduces what my music would sound like on a crappy speaker in mono. And here is kawaii. Here's the breadboard of the bunny ear project. It's coming along. What? You thought I was kidding in the intro? Check it out. Graveyard of dead media. So hope you enjoy this little tour around the studio. Thanks to everybody who's liked and commented on my videos so far. I really appreciate it. And about the fact, quoting Hemingway here, that the first draft of anything is shit.